All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I fixed on my two valve 4.6 liter Mustang engine. So let's get into today's video. All right, so first things first guys, I'll give you a little backstory on the engine. If you guys have been following the channel, you already know, but for those that are tuning in for the first time, this is a two valve 4.6 liter engine that we got out of a mashed uh, Mustang. And um, we're gonna be fixing everything that's wrong with it so that when we put it in another vehicle, it doesn't give us any issues. Now, the number one thing that I realized that was wrong with this when I first got it was that um, this timing guide right here, I thought that um, that was the only issue. If you guys look, this whole section of guide is missing, front and back. Now, I found it in the motor and I cleaned it out. Uh, thank God it didn't do much damage, but it actually, it actually destroyed the um, piece here as well. That there is supposed to be flat and it got grounded down because it was actually coming through the guide and rubbing on the chain. So that's a big no-no. You don't want that in your motor. That can cause a lot of issues. So what we did is we changed the timing guide. We changed the tensioner itself. And now we shouldn't have that issue anymore. I changed another tensioner that I thought was uh, pretty bad. But these two on the outside here are very good, so I'm not gonna bother with those. And um, we had an issue with the oil pickup tube. It was bent and I uh, brought it back up. I put it where it was supposed to be and now we are good there. The dipstick tube as well, I had an issue with that where it was bent. You can see now, I think from the accident it just got cracked, so we ended up changing that as well. But the detrimental part of the motor was actually this tensioner and um, this time engine guy, that would have caused a catastrophic failure. So um, in the previous video that I did, I showed you guys, this is actually why we, we uh, don't just get motors out of vehicles and slip them right into the next car. You have to take off the timing cover, the oil pan, the valve covers, and just take a good look at what's going on in the motor. Now you might say that this would be easy to find in the motor, because of how chewed up, let me give you guys a good shot of that. Because of how chewed up it is, you would say, oh, that's easy to find. It's really not, it's really not. Look at it from the side, right there, compared to the other one. There's not much difference on the side profile. The only way I caught that the chain already rubbed through this is because the chain was pulling more into the back section of here. And that's how I spotted it. Thank God, because this would have caused a major issue and caused a lot more time, money, energy, everything uh, that I don't need to be going through. Now, we fixed the timing. I rolled it over a few times, no issues, no binding, no anything. Um, I had to put another oil pan to the side. I have uh, like a junkyard section in my shop and I just keep everything two valve, four valve and 5.0 because I love Mustangs. They're pretty cheap and uh, I had parts for this just laying around. So. Had this timing guide, had this timing guide, and I had this tensioner. The pickup tube I had to fix because I didn't have a spare two valve pickup tube. Uh, the dipstick tube, I had that. Uh, the oil pan, like I said, I have that. Uh, one of the valve covers is broken, I have that. So this is really why I don't throw away much of anything when it comes to these uh, Mustangs. But we still have work to be done. We fixed all the internal stuff. Now it's time to put the oil pan on, put the timing cover on, the valve cover, do the intake manifold and uh, this thing should be good to go in pretty much any Mustang. So let's get to work guys.
Alrighty guys, we have this two valve 4.6 liter back together. Yes, I know, doesn't look like much, still a bit dirty. This is um, just a motor that we got. It's a spare one. Um, it's fully sealed up, so I know it's not gonna leak any coolant, it's not gonna leak any oil. Got in a CNL upper intake, and it has a BBK Power Plus throttle body, and pretty much everything else is stock. Um, we changed those timing tensioners, and we also changed the guide. So internally we're good. We changed the oil pan, and we also fixed the oil pickup tube, so everything in that area is fine. And I'm hoping that I should just be able to bolt up flywheel clutch pressure plate, bolt the box back on, and this should be a direct drop-in for pretty much any Mustang that came with a 4.6 liter. All right, guys, really not much to cover here when it comes to this two valve 4.6. I think this thing is pretty much ready to go. So probably in the next couple of days, I'm going to take it off the engine stand, put all of the gearbox stuff back on it, put all the wiring stuff on it, and then it should be good to drop into pretty much any Mustang that came with a 4.6 liter. Also, going back to the point that I was making about the guides and the tensioners are really the weak points in these four valves and two valve motors. This is a two valve and you guys saw what we found. We found a tensioner that was pushing its way through the guide completely and touching the chain. That's why it was just shaving off. So definitely got away to the point where um, we fixed that issue before something actually detrimentally went wrong with the motor and um, I believe this thing is going to run just like a dream and we're going to have some fun with this thing in the next couple of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams and I'll catch you guys on the next one.